Next question. Everything takes effort. In my personal experience, we don't have another opinion in here. The universe for you, there are no rules. Love. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we will be continuing our kind of Valentine's Day theme. We decided to do one video for inspiration of a Valentine's Day makeup, which you see right here. And you can find a video on my channel with a more detailed explanation. And also another video that we decided to do is gonna be talking all about relationship. I haven't done like a proper video about relationship and how I look at it and what my philosophy is and there's so many questions about it on my channel everywhere on my Instagram and I just decide to let you ask me the questions you want to ask and I've got plenty of them so I will be picking the best one and answer them so let's go guys okay guys so before we start there's many of you was like oh please let's do Q&A with husband the husband is absolutely not agree on any Q&A he told me he has a serious job and someone in the family needs to be serious so I guess I'm the more loose character in our relationship in our couple so I will be less serious this guy wants to keep his seriousness so we just let him be and we'll just focus on my view on our relationship it's kind of nice we don't have another opinion in here okay so let me pick I honestly did not prepare for this so I'll be just answering questions out of my head and we'll be picking a questions along the way Okay, so let's just begin with the first standard question that many of you ask how I felt he was the one. Honestly, when we met, I did not feel right away he was the one. I honestly just got out of like relationship and I wasn't really ready for relationship. So, and he was this guy who was just trying to charm me and, you know, and, and doing all these things for me. So obviously I enjoyed that part of like him being romantic, but I didn't saw that far of like, okay, he's the one. I feel like the moment when I really really felt he was the one is when he started to make some more of a meaningful gestures like he brought my family that I haven't seen for five years so he was like how you haven't seen your family for so long and he just like purchased them a ticket and brought them to Miami to meet with them just after a couple of months so I feel like that was like for me a sign that he was wanting to know kind of me a little deeper rather than just we're like dating for a year and then like everything's taking so long like everything was just kind of happening so quick but in the same time it felt so organic that I felt like this is feels right you know and also I feel like we are just having the same visions on, on, on life like the way we were talking about things it was very much the same and I think that made me also feel like okay this is might be the person that I might be able to build my life with because we're just having the same vision on so many things okay so let's see next question one of the followers gave me a lot of good questions so one of them how to keep the relationship burning when you've been together for three years now and especially due to COVID you are stuck at home together how to not be boring that's a very good question and obviously we've been so like in Florida we have been already out of lockdown for so long so but I would say that now that we are out of lockdown and let's just admit the fact that we were kind of in a, a lockdown close environment together spending so much together is not healthy for relationship either I do feel like everywhere there should be a balance the personal space of each person needs to be there every day so I think to bring back this romance and inspiration into a relationship I feel like now like that we are out of the lockdown I even said in my new year resolution like I really want to be focused on scheduling these dates together having these uh, trips together alone adult trips together I feel like it's so so important to make an effort because I do believe in order to have the sparkle in the relationship that is gonna appear there naturally you have to put some effort before it appears there so I think this new year resolution for me is just like really a work on it and bring this romance back so I think for you if you're still in lockdown I don't know which country you're from but 
but even at home you can make something outside of your comfort zone i would say like surprise your spouse with uh, or a boyfriend with like a romantic dinner on a balcony with candles and with music or like a sexy night where you dress up in something sexy so i think there's so many different ways of surprising your other half and put some effort into it that will make you feel like your relationship refreshed so yeah definitely doing something out of the ordinary out of your comfort zone it's number one thing so effort everything takes effort <laughs> that's our answer how to talk about finances with partner who pays what in the marriage so that's a very good question i feel like uh, discussing financial part in a relationship is very essential part and financial problems are always are uh, you know sometimes is the big problem in a lot of relationships so i feel like discussing these things from a start and not to ever store anything inside of yourself is a must if there is something that you need financially maybe some help or i think it's you should always discuss it with your spouse and I believe that the person who loves you will always help you with advice or with financial help so I think discuss it openly is definitely tip number one I don't think I can say who pays what in a marriage because every marriage is so different I feel like if you are together building your life and uh, you're young and you are maybe having your first jobs obviously the home expenses I think should be discussed and paid together depending on who has which income but I do feel like it's important to always help each other you know if uh, one year maybe you lost a job but still he has a job obviously he needs to step up and help you out in my personal experience me going into relationship I always been financially independent so I've been never asking money from my parents since I was 13 so going and marrying someone you know who is older than me and has so many years of work behind him so obviously our incomes and savings are completely different so Valerio is kind of organically and naturally takes care of all our family expenses I did stop to work for some time when I had a baby so it was very hard for me to kind of adjust with the fact that I don't have my own income for a couple of years it was a definitely very hard times for me I even reached out for a professional help because I do feel like it triggers sort of anxiety in me but yeah I do I think think that tip number one is discuss those things openly and be realistic and just remember nobody owes you anything so a lot of women I feel like feel like they're entitled to something or a man needs to give them something so no I feel like you know of course things always have to be respectful and if um, you know your spouse is you lost your job and he doesn't step up to help you I think there is a lot of red flags needs to be raised or he's stingy with certain things it's it's very unsexy so I do think that man has to be a man still and step up for women and help out when it's needed but I cannot tell you what is the right path for your family so but I definitely discuss it openly okay next question how to deal with relatives friends due to your big age gap I have a 22 year old age gap and it's hard when people question it how did you deal with it okay first of all it's your life and you have to decide which age gap is good for you I've seen uh, many examples of different couples which age gap was big even bigger than mine we have a 20 years and they were very organic together raised family together been together for a long time so you have to decide what's right for you that's number one and I do feel like friends and family that loves you they will understand it and will be supportive of you and your love to be honest I was a little nervous when my parents first time was meeting Valeria but it kind of honestly it never been a question like my parents never asked me about our age gap and didn't weren't really focusing on it too much I think they just focused on him as a person and just seeing us happy together balanced together they were happy for for me and um, that's kind of how it went I, I don't know I just never had 
I never encountered that problems or questions. Yeah, they were on social media, a lot of like comments, but honestly, like it's my life and I decide how I want to live it and who I want to live it with. So I would say focus on yourself and your relationship, follow your heart, definitely distance yourself from friends that tells you that, that you shouldn't be with this person because he's older. Like this is not your real friends who is kind of getting this kind of thoughts in your head and don't wish you to be happy basically there are no rules absolutely no rules so just follow your heart and listen to yourself so next question is a question about jealousy very good one i was curious if you ever had to deal with jealousy in your relationship and if yes what did you do to overcome it well i think that every relationship once in a while experience some feelings of jealousy and i think it's absolutely normal within the frame of normality right i do feel like jealousy very much tied up to your confidence so i feel like sometimes in the moment of jealousy that might be arising in me i ask myself why and is there a reason like do i have to pay more attention and taking care of myself to boost my confidence and i feel like after a couple days if i really put myself to work on my confidence to bring the best out of me i come back to the same problem and i understand it's not there anymore so i think before reacting to anything if you cannot call a specific reason why you're jealous you should probably pay more attention and take care of yourself on the first place so and i think you know of course goal in every relationship is to trust each other and i believe that healthy happy relationship built on trust so not to break this trust of course will lead you to a healthy relationship without any jealousy and negative um, emotions so yeah i think that of course tip number one is work on your confidence if you are catching yourself on being jealous about everything of course if there's a partner that triggers you and disrespects you and try to make you jealous that's totally another story and you probably have to sit him down or her and and talk very direct about it made him or her understand how it makes you feel and then just observe if the person will make any change because i do believe if the person loves you they will make a change and you know maybe it wasn't he he didn't even mean it or she didn't even mean it, it just came in naturally and it's something that upsets you but yeah i think discussing openly what's okay for you and what's not okay for you is a must in these cases okay very good question this one too did you know what you were looking for when you met your husband or do you think it was just luck that you two got along so well i'm 23 and i think trying to figure out what i'm looking for in a man will help me find my soulmate really good question for a young girls or even guys so i think that well i do think that of course part of meeting anyone it is life circumstances and luck but i do believe the way that your relationship is developing is not luck anymore it's purely your actions i think number one is being relaxed it's number one because i do see a lot of people that are trying so hard to look for their other half and they have this like excited in them that they when they meet someone they just want to rush things and i do think that it's something that scares people away a lot of times so i do think that being relaxed and fulfilled as a woman is a number one and and one of the most attractive things i think for a man if a, if a man comes to your life and he thinks you're there fulfilled and have interest and have things going on and he's there but he's not becoming the universe for you i think it's one of the most attractive things that can be for a man or for a woman so i think focusing on your own life and having your own interest being fulfilled is a number one thing that will attract the other half number two of course i never heard a prince jumping in a window and finding you at home so if you're done putting yourself in the places where you potentially can meet a good person of course also <laughs> also should be uh, your social life should be there present you know going to uh, restaurants bars with your friends in the you know i don't think the club would be a place where i would potentially look for someone but i think just having like a social life at least once in a while is definitely hiring your chances to meet someone but yes i think that's my tips on how to find your other half and answering your question if i knew 
what I was looking for. Yes, I knew. I didn't know exactly how I, how my husband will be, but I knew that I want a committed person, a person that can take responsibilities, a person that already have an established career because I did felt like my career was established too. So I do feel like the interest and the life, the life circumstances kind of have to fit each other. So I knew that this is, if I meet this kind of person with XYZ criteria, I knew he will be ready for a family. I knew he'll be ready to marry it like I you know so I kind of had an around idea what I was looking for but I wouldn't say it was my focus so yeah I kind of knew what I wanted okay guys last question to wrap up this Q&A secret to happy marriage a lot of times people ask this question so let's talk about it secret to happy marriage so of course I think love as a foundation of any marriage to love each other is a must second is communication i think to always work on improving your communication on finding a way to communicate is also one of the main foundations i think also it's important to find a way to express your love like um, I, I read this book how it's called wait, wait, wait one second i believe it's called a love language so it the book that explains that each person have a different different love language like one person feel loved by someone like being affectionate and touchy to them another one maybe loves by uh, when somebody tells them something and the third person might feel loved when you give them a gift so each person have a different love language so I do feel like it's important to find a love language to your partner and guys tip number three I am believer that the whole marriage is purely built on women's energy we as a woman have this in us now naturally men don't have it and I do believe like if the woman is happy within herself so take care of yourself take care of your own confidence take care of your own life I feel like if you are as a woman balanced then everything and everyone around you will be feeling the same way I feel like the moment I'm like off even when I'm PMSing and like I'm out of my mind everyone around me is acting crazy as well okay so take care of yourself don't forget about yourself because it's not being selfish it's a must and it serves everyone around you okay so yeah it might be disappointing to someone but the marriage is built on women okay and i do believe that the moment women gives up on marriage the marriage is over so stay on top of it focus sharp focus thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this q a happy st valentine's again love you all and i'll see you in the next video ciao